Hey YouTube, this is Gary with Liberty Road Defense Pistol Training and welcome to the next episode of Weapons Gear Wednesday. Yes. Alright, so in web on Weapons and Gear Wednesday we uh, talk about uh, different uh, pistols. We may throw some other kinds of weapons in there later on, but right now we're going to just kind of focus on pistols and the gear that goes with the pistols, okay? But this time, I want to talk about a, my latest little pistol that I've picked up, the MMP 22 Compact, okay? This is a great pistol, but you should remember, if you saw my, la my video that I did a while back about how to uh, choose your first gun, um, remember I said that we needed a minimum caliber? Okay, a 22 caliber pistol does not meet that minimum caliber. Okay, I also said that uh, um, we needed to consider price of ammunition. A 22 caliber pistol is very inexpensive to shoot. So what is this pistol good for? If you have a new shooter that you're teaching, this is why I bought this pistol specifically for new shooters and children. Okay, um, practice. you can practice with this pistol and be very inexpensive, practice your fundamentals of marksmanship with this pistol just as well as you can with a 9, a 40, or a 45. Okay? 22 caliber ammunition is pretty inexpensive compared to the larger calibers. Uh, like I said, it does not meet the minimum caliber requirement for a concealed carry pistol, but this is a great first pistol to shoot and a great practice pistol. It operates exactly the same as a full-size version of the MMP or even the compact version of the MMP in 940 or 45. Okay, uh, so let's uh, take this baby apart and uh, see what it's made of. Okay, let's take a look at this MMP 22 compact. But before we do, just like we will with every gun that we look at on, uh, on uh, Weapons and Gear Wednesday, we're going to make it safe. First thing we're going to do is pull the magazine, lay it to the side, cycle the slide, and remove the chambered round, and lock the slide back, and both visually and physically check and make sure there's no round in the chamber. And this gun is safe, and we can, uh, we can now uh, uh, check, take it apart safely. Before we uh, take it apart, let's, let, let's take a look at some of the features on this. This pistol does have a ambidextrous thumb safety on it. A lot of instructors don't like the thumb safety, okay? I think it's a training issue. But I do agree with the, uh, the uh, idea that a thumb safety isn't necessary if you have other, safeties, uh, other safety to back it up. Okay, so we've got an ambidextrous thumb safety. We've got a, a, a safety lever on both sides, so left and right handed people can shoot this gun. Uh, on the top, we have a chambered round window. You can actually, un, uh, the XD had a pop up uh, chambered round indicator. This one actually has a window that you can look down into and actually see the shell casing. Okay. Um, the sights, the front sights, fixed sight, the rear sight is adjustable. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's handy to have uh, when you're out shooting. Um, on the left side, as always, we have the uh, the slide release here and the takedown lever here. To take this pistol apart, uh, it's similar to other pistols, um, but it's different in uh, in some ways. Take the thumb safety off, lock the slide back, rotate the takedown lever down instead of up like uh, the XDs, and so release the slide with it still pulled back, pull the back of the, of the slide up, and then it comes just right off the front. <laughs> Unlike other uh, semi-automatic pistols, the barrel on this is fixed. It does not come out when you, when you disassemble it for cleaning. It has a captured spring return uh, uh, guide rod. And in the slide, 
There's really nothing left in the slide except the extractor and uh, the ejector pin is here. Okay, uh, putting it back together, uh, guide rod back in with the notch down. You see how it's chamfered on this, so we want that pointing up. Slide it back in, into the slot. Line the barrel and the guide rod up on the on the slide. Pull it, pull the slide back and feel the back until you feel the back end drop in. Lock the slide back. Rotate the slide lock or the takedown lever back into the up position. Release the slide and we're back together. Okay. So how does it shoot? Shoot. It shoots accurately. It's very low recoil, which allows you to concentrate on the fundamentals. And, uh, and it's low recoil so it won't scare a new shooter. They don't have to worry about that heavy recoil. Uh, it feels good in your hand. It shoots good. It's accurate. I like it a lot. Um, in fact, when we go to the firing range, Tina shoots this a lot. Because she likes it because it doesn't have the recoil. And we're just practicing. Okay. That's that on the MMP 22 Compact. Okay, guys, that's what I've got for the MMP 22 Compact. Really nice little gun to uh, shoot. It runs about $400, comes with two magazines, and uh, it, it, you know it's well worth that much money. Uh, great gun to practice with, great gun for new shooters, great gun for small children. Okay, so until next time, this is Gary with Liberty Road Defense Pistol Training. Now, uh, be sure and uh, check, keep checking out the website because we're making some drastic changes over there. I'm about to have a new logo built, and uh, we've already changed the format of, of the website. So uh, I've got some good things on the website coming up, and I'll keep you guys posted on that. But if you get a chance to buy this 22, go for it. You can't go wrong with it. Until next time, remember, your personal defense is your responsibility. It's up to you. You can choose to be a victim or you can choose to be a survivor, but it's always your choice. We'll see you guys next time.